So this is my uh, 2009 uh, NSERC undergrad project that I had worked on, and it, it involves modeling a hospital uh, queuing system. Mm -hmm. So essentially what happens is I have to start with a bunch of patients who are waiting in a surgical wait list, and I modeled it by saying, okay, some people might leave this list, but if, let's say, they get booked for surgery, then they are waiting in line, and on the day of, they'll hopefully make it into surgery. And But if not, they might be, if, if the patient beds are full, then they have to be canceled and they have to go back to the line and try again. If they get through the patient beds, then they're discharged. But the, the problem was essentially how do I model this from a queuing theory approach. I started off by assuming that uh, the, the arrival for the people in the surgical waitlist will be by a Poisson arrival and they will be reneging exponentially, which is fine to assume because it's, it's, uh, it's memoryless and it's essentially independent of how long you've been there. So, and then they get to the server, who is your hospital administrator, who will serve according to Poisson. Uh, the, the reason we assume for, uh, Poisson uh, uh, behavior is because it, it simply makes it uh, it's easier to analyze, and in, in heavy traffic this is okay, uh, by Kingman's theorem. So, and once they enter this queue, they, we assume that there's a fixed waiting time period, at which point they will have to uh, leave the queue because once you wait, let's say, eight hours trying to get into the hospital, the hospital administrator says, okay, there's no way you're going to see a bed right now, you'll come back. And then they get served by B beds at a rate of mu, uh, also by Poisson, and then they leave. Now the, the, the key issue is how often are people being retried, because this is a big problem. If, if uh, patients are constantly being uh, rebooked for surgery, uh, th this can obviously be life-threatening. So what I, what I assumed, and this is a fairly critical assumption, is that the, retrial, the rate at which people are retrialed will be lambda r, which is also uh, assumed to be Poisson. And in order to, to solve for this, what I did is I, I, I cut this system into two pieces. So this would be system one and this would be system two. And the output for system one is the same as the input for, sy for system two. And the output for system two in this direction it is completely in, in, independent of the system. The, more, the output I'm more concerned with is the retrialing. And so the output for this is added onto, the, uh, onto this in system one's input. And in that way, we, uh, we can solve for lambda r. Okay.